Uh, traffic sucks, right? And so I guess um, the next group broke that down into two factors. There's a human factor, and then there's infrastructure, roads, and stuff like that. So then the problem with roads is that there are too many cars, and there's construction always going on, which, you know, that causes detours and unfamiliar routes, and it causes closure of lanes, and too many cars is because there's a lack of public transportation and not enough carpools. And then um, the human factor is that people are stupid and slow, <laughs> and the stupid <laughs> people, are, people are selfish and unaware, and the slow people, bad testing to the design, I guess that has to do with the cars, and they're overcautious or over scared. So you guys wanna talk about our solution? So our solution was a car that drives itself. Um, and it would have like navigation and everything, so it would know where the construction was. So you wouldn't have to look which de detours to take. Um, it would find the most optimal route and take that, and then everyone would be synced together so that it would evenly distribute cars into like different roads. So everyone spends the least amount of time on the roads. Yes. Cool. Okay. What's iRobot? Yeah, who's that? So iRobot would eliminate all the cars then? I don't know. The iRobot would be the car. The cars are oh, not I thought you were talking about the, the, the movie. Yeah, there's an the Lexus in the iRobot. Well, because in the movie, Will Smith like destroys yeah. like all the cars, basically. It's robots. Mm. That's, that's, that, that's what our logic was. I've never actually seen the movie, so uh, I have no idea. It's pretty cool. But that's our car driving itself with a computer in the driver's seat and Mr. Fusion. sensors and a little Mr. Fusion on the back. Cool. Some guy goes riding with. <laughs> cool. <laughs> He's just programmed to go to